Yeah, 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 We're going to get this money. 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 We're going to get this money. M- money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we, wait, wait, yeah, wait, we're going. Wait. You know wait. What I gotta do That's all right. We'll wait for you. Don't you worry. Listen, you don't, your attitude stinks, Jacob mate. in his own little oh. world. In his own little. Oh, okay. Da, 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 da. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh. Uh, what is it was that? me about two seconds ago. Not oh, everything's a so film, attitude, Jacob. Not everything's a the quote. Attitude's Jesus, the attitude's back in. Okay, well I'm done with that, and I think. This, oh, are you? I think this will be my last one. <laughs> I don't think I'll be what? coming back. I think this will be my. That's just joking. I think this will be my last one. I think. Is it? Yeah, I think this will be my last one. Hey guys, how are we? Happy Sunday. Hey, you're all well. I'm nowhere near the <laughs> mic. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even drinking. That's the worst part. Of it. <laughs> Dude, what the going fuck's going on? <laughs> you threw me off. I'm your attitude. I feel I'm like your like hour. hour. I'm at your hour. <laughs> what? I can't even. Oh, shit. This actually looks broke. Look, it's fucking. It's scraping on the side. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Did you make it? Yeah, we're all good. We'll make it work. Guys, I'm so. <laughs> Let's start that again. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. It's been a while, I'll get it. It's been <laughs> You're full of it, aren't you? What's in that ginger beer? Ginger. Go- <laughs> Cocaina. Absolutely not. Yeah, no coke today. Guys, or, happy or, Sunday. Or any day. Happy Sunday. Well, it was that. No, happy Sunday. Um, hope you're all doing good. We <clears throat> are very, very close to Christmas. December is around the corner. And, um, yes. There it goes. <laughs> nice top. Be kind to yourself. Yeah, that's all right. Sure. Yeah, I saw it on a, um, a website, actually, that was recently launched. Good, um, <sighs> really pretentious name. What was it? Good time. Good time with your own. Good vibes only. Good vibes. Just that. Is that ringing a bell? Is that ringing anything? What does that mean to you? When I say the word good vibes only, what does that mean to you? What? Oh, is that your? I didn't realise it was just the way it was wrote. I didn't I didn't make the the connection. The <laughs> no, Lawrence has uh is is launched a uh, a dope dope site. Yes. <clears throat> I've had a tell the people what's going on. Another lockdown baby. We love it. 13 pounds, 16 ounces. Woo! That's healthy weight. It's actually ten not. 10 fingers, 10 toes. That's very overweight. Like a big way baby. over the top of the acronym. <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a big baby. Yeah. That's a big baby. I don't know how much babies weigh. Yeah. That's the thing. That's a big baby. Uh, yeah. It's um, it's about a year in the making. It's taken some time to get to where I wanted it to be, but now I'm at a place where I feel confident in launching it. Yeah. Um. We've had many discussions about it, haven't we? About what we, what I wanted the business to be. Um, we spoke a lot. And the big end all of it is, is it, I want it just to be positive vibes. Yeah. I want it to be good vibes only. And that's all I'm really bothered about. Yeah. Whether ah. it been choosing the material, whether it be choosing the prints, the profit margins, how the process works, how the customer service works, everything. Yeah. It's just come down to really well. All we really care about is pushing out that main image, which is mm-hmm. either pushing out positive vibes or pushing out awareness for a cause that you care about. Mm. And that's that's all it is. How did it uh, come about? It came about. <clears throat> or was there like a, an event that happened or like, cause I can't really remember something happening and then you being like, oh, bro, by the way, I'm just going to set up. It happened because of a lot of reasons, but yeah, I've always wanted to do something in well going back to the beginning yeah um for the past six or seven years i've been surrounded by business owners surrounded by people who have creative ideas and want to do something whether it be 
online, offline, service-based, product-based, whatever. Mm. And I've always been intrigued by the idea of a product that gives you a positive feeling. I've always wanted to have my own product, whether it be a new pair of trainers, whether it be a new, like, gym gear, or, you know, just a feeling of, whether yeah. it be a bloody, like, Starbucks coffee. Yeah. Like, the stupidest things, the littlest things that yeah. you get, that's not just about the product. It's yeah. about, and it's not just about posting it on social media. Yeah. To say you've got it. It's about the feeling you've got from it. Oh, yeah. I really want that. I, know, I yeah. love the feeling I get from that. For example, the, um, uh, what do you call it? When Costa or Starbucks write your name on your mug. Like, yeah. Starbucks don't do that because it helps them in any way. No. no they do it because they know time. customers are going to get yeah, a good feeling from it. Like, oh, my God, this is my, mine. My, my mug. Yeah, this is my, my coffee. Yeah. And because people will post it on social media. Yeah, but 100%. That's the main thing, really. And th- those things two married together was my original idea for the company. I always wanted to do something, excuse me, artwork-based with clothing. Um, and pretty much COVID lockdown brought the idea out of me of what I wanted the artwork to be about. And I didn't want it, all of it just to be, you know, kind of like silly memes and just stuff that makes you happy. Like I wanted some of it to also to relate something and also give back to certain causes that I care about. Um, And quite honestly, uh, I'm sure with a lot of people as well, I didn't quite realise how much I cared about those causes until lockdown happened. Because you were isolated. You did have to think a lot about other people and what they were going through and you weren't just in your normal day to day you had to really well you, you were stripped back from that so you had to get, come out of it and say well okay well what's that person doing and are they coping as well because of their current situation or how can I make them feel better or um yeah you know and, and that's what really lockdown's taught me the most I think so that coupled with that idea and the fact that I wanted it to be um you know, a product that when people buy, it's not just something that they wear and they think, oh, yeah, you know, this is cool artwork or this is yeah. a dope T-shirt or yeah. it's got something that's relatable to me on it. Yeah. It's also something that I want people to reflect on. Yeah. And say, how am I making a difference? I'm not just going to buy the new latest pair of Nike shoes because they're the latest pair of Nike shoes. I'm going to buy them because I want that feeling, but I also want to make a difference. I just yeah. want to feel like I'm... I'm not just spending my money on another yeah. corporation that's... And yeah. don't get me wrong, I'm still going to buy Nike shoes. I'm not going to yeah, buy no, my shirts course, only from this course. shop. But yeah. sometimes it's nice yeah. to also have that feeling of, well, actually, yeah. why am I buying this? Yeah. Am I buying it because it's just yeah. the latest iPhone? I just mm. know I like iPhones. Or am I buying it because I know it's doing that certain thing? Mm. I think a lot of people forget that when they're actually buying something. Like, whether it be, like, say, a new, new pair of shoes or the latest top or the latest pair of heels or whatever, mm. the latest bag. Am I really getting it because I really, really like mm. it? Or am I getting it because I've been influenced to buy it? That's true. It's very, I think even with clothes and stuff, like it's, what I love most about it is, is that if you're into clothes anyway, if you're into fashion, wearing clothes that are fashionable is obviously a very easy thing to do. But that collaboration along with something meaning a lot to you personally. So mm. for example, obviously I've struggled with, I've struggled with mental health. So if I went out and I brought a top and I love the style of it and it was mint and on top of that, it supported a cause that I yeah. love. Obviously to me, it's going to be more personal. And I think mm. people appreciate stuff like this because they're relating it to their own life. Mm. You know, they've had a, a cousin, a friend, whoever that has gone through something mm. and just seeing that cause on a t-shirt, it's not only like, yeah, it's not only representing our support the cause anyway, naturally, but it's also showing maybe people they've lost or maybe people that are still around and going through those battles that, yeah. you know, I'm here standing alongside you. And yeah. I just think from talking to you about it um, over the past several months, I think that has always been the main aim. You didn't want the message to get lost because it's very easy to just say, yeah, I want to design some clothes, I want make to a website, start a t-shirt business, and then right. sell them. It's very easy to do that <clears throat> yeah. because everyone needs clothes, everyone buys clothes. But I think when you are doing it, but you're doing it for a different cause, you need to do it for a cause that's close to you. I think that's probably why me personally, I think it took so long for you to launch it. 
Yeah. Because it's very easy. If you'd have just put on a top, like, I don't know, you see a lot of things. Just If, you, if you'd have just, you could have put anything on a top, basically, and not really been bothered about the quality and just rushed the whole thing. Yeah. Because you could have just went, oh, yeah, okay. Which well, I did do, by the way. Top. I did that about four yeah. years ago. I launched, launched yeah. well, I didn't even launch it in the end, but I made the site. I made, like, a few different T-shirts. What was that? It was just a load of rubbish. It was just a load of different random T-shirts and a load of random different ideas and designs and it no t-shirt was alike no yeah. it was, there was no quality um yeah. you know consistency in anything it was just all completely random there was even an option for you to design your own t-shirt on there and it was like this and whilst i had the tools and facility to do it mm. there was something that just seemed off about it it was like well, i'm just doing it just because i got the tools to do it and i know how to do it mm. I, I should be doing it because it's there's, there's a goal like every company mm. like i say every company should have a, a sole purpose mm. otherwise what's we'll you might as well go and work for another company to do it mm, exactly and get more money and don't handle the stress mm. like i feel like it's hard when you set up a company though that obviously costs you money because all companies cost money to to run mm. and to build but when you're setting up a company and the main goal isn't money it's very hard to for some people it's very hard to to get motivated but when you are doing something and again it's it's something you really 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 care about i feel like there's more pressure on it mm. because it's it isn't about money so it's like i want people to buy the product and the product has to be good yeah it has to be good yeah because i'm not relying on people to buy the products i need money or i've got to pay rent or i've got to do this it's like i want people to buy the product and to feel the same way about it yeah. i do so it's like when people are buying an item, it's like, oh shit, that's really good, man. Like I can see what he's done there and I can, I love that design and I mm. love how that all fits in. And you really want people, because I think like even when like you could have an item on there that, that sells out, like the the uh, the cancer, is it a jumper or a t-shirt? Uh, which one? I think it's the, the boobs. one where you've got the boobs, yeah. Uh, t-shirt. T-shirt, t-shirt yeah. yeah. So that sells <clears throat> out. That, great, but... You, you want that feedback. Yeah. It's like, great, people are buying it, yeah, but, but at the same time, you want people to sort of tell you why they brought it and yeah. why they've gone for that one. Yeah. So I think for you, the best thing is going to be people reaching out to you, same. sending you messages, yeah. saying, oh, bro, this is dope. Yeah. My mum's going through, my dad's going through, whatever the reason is. And then yeah. Yeah. that just pushes you on to make better uh, products in the future. Exactly, right? yeah, absolutely. And more meaningful products as well. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's the main thing throughout this is... There are some products more than others that are less minimal on there. Yeah. But the majority of the artwork, I do want it to be quite uh, subtle. Mm. And it doesn't have to be, I think the probably the, the one that relates most to the cause is Mental Health Matters, and it's just big and yellow, mm. um, similar to this one. But mm. other than that, they're all very subtle. And it doesn't have to be a, oh, look at me, I'm wearing this big T-shirt that mm. says I've got this problem related to my life on it. It's just something that people might kind of, tweak and go oh that's cool design that kind yeah. of makes sense yeah maybe i'm a bit more comfortable around this person now to talk to him about things or yeah or maybe that person just feels better because they're supporting something that they can't quite do other than chatting about on social media yeah it's something that's a bit more personal and yeah it's just it's good vibes mm. so which what is where i wanted to be <laughs> what are the causes what are the causes are what are they uh up on here oh. so this is the site yeah. so we've got eight in total uh, but we've got seven actual causes at the minute which I think will probably be the main ones for a while because I don't yeah. want to sort of overcrowd it but we've got uh, remove racism so anti-racism domestic abuse Minimise mental health, kill cancer, help the homeless, fuel feminism, and abolish animal abuse. Um, and then you've got the different designs that rate. Like I say, some of them, because uh, we're going into Christmas now, some of the, the actual GVO category is more of a just general good vibes, general yeah. happy, yeah, different designs. Like these at the top here. And then you've got your more ones that <laughs> relate to the look. <laughs> Brick vibes. Okay. <Fuck> yeah. <laughs> so it's stuff like that. Like it's not saying I've I've got mental health issues, but just a little brain with yeah. weights. No, hundred percent. 
Oh, we've spoke before, mate, about what the different ways to represent serious topics. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think, like, obviously, you talk to people about mental health and their mind just straight away goes to, oh, you're suicidal. No, yeah. there's very different, there's loads of different levels of mental health. Like, Absolutely. mental health can just be, you know, you've, you've, something's happened, it's led on to, I don't know, you're losing your job, you're losing your house, you've just had a bad year. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mental health doesn't always, it's not always permanent for a lot of people. For yeah. some people, it will just be, I went through it a couple of years ago because I was going through a really bad stage and then I got better and then I'm out of it. Yeah, absolutely. And I think part of this as well, it's one of those things where I also want it to be a a bit of a gateway for people who aren't comfortable talking about it. Yeah. So that they can see it and recognise it. Even like on the back of every T-shirt, you've got the little Good Vibes Only logo. Even if they just recognise that and the T-shirt's branded or slightly blank or whatever. Yeah. I still want people to be able to look at it and say, okay, like, I feel more confident conf- confident now that people recognise that and know that it's in some way associated to me. Yeah, no, 100%. So they feel more comfortable to perhaps even yeah. just open up slightly about it or, yeah. oh, have you ever struggled? Like, have you ever been through anything? Or do you want yeah. to talk about something? Or, I mean, not like our podcast with Alex where I spoke about my like personal issues I've had before, like that took a lot of courage for me to do. Yeah. And I still worry now about people that will judge me for it or... Yeah whatever and, and that's ridiculous because mm. no one in my life right now would ever do that no, but it's still a, a little worry that i struggle yeah. talking about so i mean even launching this has, has made me realize oh, actually people are going to know that i care about all these things mm. well and and there's nothing else that would have really made me put it out there mm. other than sharing someone else's content mm. as to well ex- how that's much i would thing, care about it mate that's the thing people realizing you're doing this and hopefully when people watch this they will realize it's nothing to do with financial gain. Absolutely. Like, yeah. There's no reason for you to be doing it apart yeah. from, I want to spread awareness on these causes. And yeah. I think people forget that like spreading awareness is just as big as dealing with the problem. Yeah. Because if you don't see this problem, if you don't see other people talking about it, you won't address it yourself. Like the amount of people that popped up to me and been like, oh yeah, man, I saw you put a post up about like mental health or depression or anxiety or this or that. That's what I'm going through with at the minute. If I don't put that status up, I don't receive that message. Sometimes yeah. all it takes for people to see something and go, man, Jesus. Or for people to see what you're doing and, and, and want to get involved. Yeah. Which is even better, I think. Uh, and absolutely. And this, by the way, is a an open invitation to anyone. Like I said, yeah. there's there no financial gain from this, if any. Yeah. And, well, other than me wanting to be able to donate to charities yeah, exactly. of my choice. But, yeah. Um, that and that's why is because I want people who get involved to be serious about getting involved to yeah. want to spread the same message who yeah. have the same goals Yeah, and that's why it's an open invitation to anyone whether it be in the artwork side of things whether it be help out on the customer service just to have like the live chat on their phone or to deal with you know print logistics yeah. anything anything that would help or help promote it even even if, they, if there's any influencers out there on social media that want to get involved there's loads of different ways I can do it, but that's why it's, it, it, I don't want it to ever be. Right now, it is a t-shirt company. Yeah, it's a course. it's a startup t-shirt company, like every other startup t-shirt company. But I want it to be more than that, and I w- I want it to be um, a globally recognised brand that something yeah. we'll look at. And same way people look to Nike for sport or motivation in well, sport or anything related to that. Yeah. I want it to be a similar thing where people can motivate and spread awareness through having a positive mm. feeling about it. It's just sharing that same, that same feeling. Good yeah. thing. It's like I say, even if it only gets one order a month, yeah, it's, it's still a little thing yeah. that's I'm completely honest. It's not taken me all the hours and it's not taken me, it's taken me about a year to set it up yeah. here and there. Yeah. Well, and I have been quite extensive on the research side of things, but now it's up. Yeah. It's up. I'll, it. I'll be adding new designs probably five or six every month, and that's yeah. it. And see how it goes. Um, yeah, there's about 30 different designs on there. Some of them you can get uh, sort of Christmas themed as well. Have you had a favourite design? My my personal favorite yeah. is the uh, smiling one. 
Smiling is my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <for sake. laughs> Will Ferrell the goat. Yeah. Yeah, man. Is it weird seeing like your own designs? Is that going to be yeah, weird? Really people weird. like buying stuff that like yeah, to your design. Like it is you, weird. You've, you've I, done it. Only since I've launched it, I've actually sat down and gone, "Oh crap! Is anyone even going to like this design?" Because yeah. it's so personal. It's yeah. like, and a lot of it's very similar format. It's very similar fonts and colors and stuff. But yeah. it's still something that I've just. Like, not thought of yeah. at all. <laughs> I always feel like it's weird. It's really weird. Myself, like, it's like artwork, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So it's like someone could spend like three hours on a painting, on a drawing, whatever. Yeah. They release it out to the public. And then it's like, oh my God, what if someone just pops up and says yeah. shit and I've spent three hours doing it? And then you just obviously that self doubt yeah. because you've put so much energy into it really passionate about it you've worked hard and yeah. then obviously because you do all the right things you just expect naturally like yeah it's going to be well received because i've done all the right things yeah. and i've done the appropriate measures but you release it to the public and then you're like oh yeah that's what i mean I'm so like sure. obviously doing a lot of research with the um the design and artwork side of things mm. i've researched like trending topics both for just generally in the art world generally in the fashion world and yeah. also relating to that cause yeah. what what like for example, um, you've got like different ribbons on stuff on cancer. You've got like the, the cancer ribbon and stuff like that. Um, and you j I just completely forgot until launching it today that I've realised oh actually people are gonna be wearing something that I've made <laughs> like I've mm. designed. It's really mm. weird. And then having convos like oh I love you talk where did you get it oh yeah good vibes oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah I know it oh yeah Lawrence yeah oh Lawrence yeah yeah have you right with that Jacob yeah Rob King's on you as well <laughs> no um, let's we can we can bring it back we can off track for, for those of you that didn't know that I got him ah yeah but I I also get that not everyone's gonna well I would say there's gonna be one person that would buy one thing yeah not everyone's gonna relate to every cause not everyone's yeah. gonna like every type of design yeah. But that's why you've done um, it, though, isn't it? Yeah, because and, and most people that have replied to me people. have said, oh, I like that, yeah. and I like that. And it's all been from different causes. It? it does make yeah. me so happy that people are like, yeah. oh, I really like that. Yeah, like It's something that has taken me a few hours to design, mm. and they've gone, oh, yeah, okay, I can relate to that. Mm. Well, I yeah. think that's what you want, though, isn't it? I would never buy, for me personally, mate, the ones that obviously pop out to me straight away are obviously going to be the racism ones, especially after this year. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's been a fucking long and very emotional year. But... Um, yeah, fighting racist abuse, uh, obviously helping the homeless, yeah. because obviously what my mum does, and I just feel like I've always been around that type of work because of her, yeah. and then obviously um, the mental health, but these are all things I can, you know, they're relatable, they're things mm. I've, I've, I've gone through, so to me, they're going to feel personal, but things like cancer, like, you know, touch wood, no one close to me is gone through cancer i've not yeah. seen that yeah. i've seen people go through it you see people post on facebook mm. and you wish them all the best but me personally someone really close to me in terms of i see every day yeah it's not happened yeah like, do you know I mean? i've had an auntie that's gone through it but yeah. she's you know she was off in birmingham yeah. and i was just like wishing it the best and stuff yeah. and that that was it sort of thing but mm. for, for me to have like a mum or a sister i can never imagine what that pain's mm. like so i'd obviously be I'm gonna a lot be more yeah, invested yeah. I'm gonna be buying really stuff much, that I can just relate to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it just, again, it just, yeah, feels more, feels more personal, man. Yeah. Feels more personal. Um, but it'd be interesting, man. I think I'm waiting for the point where I can go out and I'm just seeing people, random people. I just spot a random person at your top. Yeah, and it's like. That's what oh, <laughs> yeah. I know the guy's be been weird. with the guy that designed that top. Like, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm just yeah. waiting for them sort of moments. I think I know obviously, you know, it's it is about spreading awareness, but I think obviously for you on a personal level, to seeing seeing people I don't know, it's just short it's just, I don't know, it just shows that people support mm. what what you're doing. Yeah. Because no one's really got any other reason to buy any of these items apart from because do, doing my research, mate, and, and I know I'm well into this and I know yeah. I'm crazy biased by mm. it, but there's so much crap out there in clothing that people buy. Oh. So oh. many brands, so much yeah. thing that's yeah. just pointless, meaningless, oh, yeah. overpriced yeah. crap. I saw a jumper that said mood on it the other day. Yeah. Mood. With a full stop. Mood. Like, all, and I get some of it's like high quality, it's decent quality, but yeah. it's still just 
textiles. Yeah. It's not gold. <laughs> no. It's but, bog standard but it's clothing. Yeah. Like as expensive, some yeah. of it. And it's like Yeah. How how do people spend I, I get why people spend money on because it's yeah. popular. But when you take it back back to basics, okay, why am I why am I wearing this clothing today? Well, I want to be warm. Mm. And I don't want to get wet. Yeah. But That's why it. did I choose this? Because yeah. it's colour? Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, and then obviously the you logo dig on a little it. bit deeper. Yeah, probably. yeah, and then you need to, to go in about material what and then... the price? What, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it goes and more, then and okay, more and more well, What's yeah. the last thing? Well, why am I wearing it? Does it do anything? Does it share anything? You're wearing this message on your body all yeah. day. You're wearing a physical thing that represents you all mm. day. And to be able to wear something that I think relates to you and also spreads happiness to other people mm. on, on such a deep level... Oh, that's priceless. One hundred percent for the for the cost. It's priceless, especially knowing that part of that cost may go back to the charity as well, mm. which you know, obviously, is something I want to look into. Yeah. So, yeah, it's uh, it's cool. I, I'm just looking forward to see where it goes. Yeah, man. I haven't got crazy high hopes, but mm. I'm excited. Right, well, starting, man. That's part of the journey, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But I'll start the journey off. See where it goes. Obviously, we'll be looking back at this episode in a year. Yeah. And then we'd be like, oh, do you remember that time you launched that company? You remember that million you remember that million pound company you launched? And we were like talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But obviously during this time you'll be fucking abroad somewhere and I'll be doing this on my own. Lawrence has <laughs> left the podcast. <laughs> he, yeah, that company I said that wasn't about money. Uh well, he's rich as fuck now. And uh, yeah. He's he's no longer with us. But that'll be fun. I'll still have I'll still have a good time. Peas and peas, 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 peas. I wrote your theme tune, don't I? Oh, yes, that will be sad. That'll be sad. <clears throat> no, man, but it is exciting. Yeah. It is very exciting, man. It's fun. Mm. I was saying earlier, I think I got to the point now, I kind of think just business is a bit of a game. Yeah. And it's just, you can practice as much as you want. You can do mm. everything you want. You can do mini- meticulous research mm. as much as you want and be as well prepared for everything and, at the end of the day, it's, it's down to being in the right place at the right time. You, 100%. Can, you, you, you can work hard and you should work hard because you mm. want to be in that right place at the right time. You always want to have that opportunity. But most of the time, to make it that to the level mm. that most people want to, it's having that mm. little bit of luck as well. I don't understand why people do research. Obviously, research is great. You know, I mean, you want to you want to put your business in the best possible situation to, mm. to thrive, as everyone does with a business. That's the whole point yeah. at the end of the day. But... At the same time, there is luck. Mm. It's whoever sees it. Mm. You know, you get one person who's popular, who's got that like social status, social influencer, which is a massive thing now. Yeah. Buy one of your tops, tag the website <laughs> in. Oh my God, blah, 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 blah. That's it. That's what it takes now. <laughs> it's for, if there's someone that's seen as being popular and having a status to buy a top, yeah. someone else buying it and then being like, yeah, sound, yeah. They brought it, so it must be good quality. It must be good. And then the next person, and the next person, and the next person. Mm. And unfortunately, we close. And that is the way it is. But again, because this is aimed specifically at certain causes, you're hoping that people just buy tops because it's like, yeah, I can relate. But and I, I want it to be. Look. I also want it to be a quite a bold, or eventually be quite a bold statement of change within the industry as, yeah. a, as a whole. Not just for people to buy clothing because it's highly branded or popular, and also not just f- for them to buy it, uh, f- for the person to sell it because it's mm. low cost, high profit. Mm. Equally, I'd also like it to be kind of a a modern statement of uh, body positivity as well. Um, and say with the with the tools and resources and funding I've got access to at the minute, it's something that I can't fully approach yet. Like yeah. with a company, I've, I've waited until the time where I yeah. feel most confident and as I will do when I'm developing it. But mm. eventually I'd like to have, you know, um, my own line of like modeling on there mm. and my own line of um, clothing that represents that or represents mm. that cause in a way. Again, subtle, but something that people can relate to and feel confident about going out and not having to wear you know, most tight t-shirt or skin mm. dress, like. Mm. 100%. And it, that's what I mean. It, it, I want just people to be able to look at fashion like different. Mm. Look at fashion and say, well, why am I wearing it? Like I say, I'm, I'm 
still going to wear branded stuff. No, of just because I wear that doesn't mean every no, day I have to feel like that. Sometimes yeah. I want to be bougie and wear yeah. a three piece suit, as we obviously don't on occasion do. do. <laughs> I, don't really, I don't tend to do that that often. We do. It happens way too much. <laughs> <laughs> Even if we're not going to vent, we'll just, yeah, we'll just turn up yeah. each other's houses. To be fair, that's what we'll be doing for the Christmas episode, to be fair, maybe. Or the, no, the New Year's Eve one. We'll we we'll get so many views. Uh, I know. I hate, so I hate looking to off. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Ew. No. Hard, no, I do know what you mean though. Because you want different things in you want different things in your wardrobe though, man. Some yeah. days you do want to go out and you do want to just represent. Yeah, yeah man, you want to make a statement. Yeah. But it's again this sort of design. It's making a statement in a I like making a statement in a subtle way. Mm. Like if you had tops it was just like mental health matters, mental health matters, mental health matters, like yeah. printed all over it. It's yeah. like that's sort lot. of the yeah. feet of the point like yeah. it's a bit do you know what I mean yeah. people are going to be able to just read it yeah. if it just says it yeah. across here yeah. but you see some designs and it's like they're taking away from the actual message because they look messy or they're not designed right or yeah. and whatever that, that's another massive um, gap in the market that I've seen looking at if you research any charity based stuff mm. uh, th- there is a good company out there um, who I'm not going to tell you because Probably going to be a direct competitor, but uh, <laughs> there is a good company out there. <laughs> Just, you've got uh, Google. This one, you know who you are. You've got Google. Um, <laughs> but the majority of it is crap. It's yeah. it's really poorly designed stuff. It's really poorly poor quality. And no one knows where the money's going or what they're doing mm. with it. Or why the person's even made it. So, um, yeah, it's important. I, I'm going to try and be as transparent as possible. Um as often as I can yeah. to show people actually what difference it's making. When I get a new message, if, if people are okay with sharing it, mm. I'm going to share it mm. to show the difference it's physically making. Because mm. people don't always, I, I get not everyone's interested in fashion. Not everyone yeah. really cares. Or yeah. Some people might not even care about the cause, but to yeah. know that they can make a difference to other people mm. that might be having a problem with that, great. Mm. But then in reverse to that, everyone wears clothes. So it's like you can say I know people that aren't into fashion they'll say, Oh yeah, I'll stick on any old top. Well, then stick on any old top that has a good fucking message on it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone them. wears clothes. Yeah. Because you can't walk around naked. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I've never done it. I've never done it. But um that was that one time in Thailand. No, um, yeah. Everyone wears clothes, man. Mm. everyone wears clothes so there's not even going to be that and everyone i'm sure you never hope but with the way life is everyone i'm sure is coming to contact with one of them causes whether it's personal whether it's not every mm. single person has been part of one of them causes at mm-hmm. some point or will be at some point so it's inclusive man mm. it's good it's really really good i look forward to it i look forward to seeing some people in it man mm. my nephews I, I don't know. I like seeing kids in like stuff that like yeah. I don't know about. I don't know what it is. It's just more. I think if if, if they if they're brought up with that, if they're raised yeah. with that, it's you kind of like I mean? you're gonna do well. Yeah, yeah, this is what I mean. Like when I was younger, it was it was when you're younger, it's just all about mm. just start oh, want the latest shit, you know? Mm. Oh yeah, I want fucking K Swiss trainers. Why <laughs> they had a tongue twister on them? What <laughs> the fuck do I care about a tongue twister for, bro? <laughs> Think I would go out now and buy a tongue twister? I probably would go out. Back but my <laughs> yeah, point is, cool I didn't like. I didn't. I reckon they would. I don't though. reckon they'd be pretty cool now. Yeah, but I don't know if you get old of them, they'd be classed as retro and be selling for about eight hundred sure fucking pounds. K Swiss tongue twisters, you fucker! Oh, they were a the thing back in the day. They were cool. White, twist them over blue. What? It's a new trend. Look, I've got two pairs of trainers. You what? <laughs> Ever wanted two pairs of trainers before? <laughs> no, but that was such a vibe. But all it did is the fucking the tongue twisting. That's it. And the advert used to be like, Whew. yeah. And then you got him, and it didn't do that. It no, was it tough. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. M- Mom, can you come and help me twist the tongue? <laughs> no, man, you did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't great. But I don't know, man. You um, no clothes. Clothes say a lot, man. I mm. always look at when I'm meeting people. I always look at the clothes. Always look at the clothes, man. I think it says so much about you for a lot of different reasons. Mm. Do you know what I mean? The size of it, obviously the colour. Um, and hopefully now the message, you know what I mean? Hopefully more people start start wearing. Because obviously you see it at protests and stuff. 
people constantly, they're having their own tops made and they've got their own printed messages. But why don't people just do that every day anyway? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, why can't you go work if, mm. if you work a casual workplace? Why can't you go work in a top and it, it has a nice message on it? Do you know what I mean? Mm. But people just wouldn't do it. I don't know if it's I don't know, out of fear of embarrassment or mm. what, but it's like it, sh- it should be encouraged more, man. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think you. I think you're gonna get a lot of support with it, and yeah, I just can't wait until people tag you in stuff, man, and you can share it online and that. It'd be good. Yeah. Good vibes only. Good vibes only. Are you gonna do a theme tune for this one? Have you been? Laura, that was a joke. That was that was a joke. You were supposed to say. I was gonna do uh, a video with a voiceover before. What but... How was that gonna go? How was? Hi there. I'm Gil the Globe. That's not great. I, um, it's not your best idea. Nice you've to ever. meet you. <laughs> oh, God. What voice is that? Can my I just Mickey, ask you? My Mickey Mouse voice. That's not what Mickey Mouse. Oh, Ma- boy. That's not what Mickey Mouse sounds like. Yeah. I've never watched Mickey Mouse. Wow. You're missing a lot. What's Mickey Mouse in the. What was he in? He's got a club. <laughs> Mickey Mouse the, and the, the. The playground club. It was the clubhouse. The club, clubhouse. Jacob. The club. Mickey, Mickey Mouse and the clubhouse. Never stood at it, mate. I wasn't a Mickey Mouse guy. Looney Tunes, Way, eh? way off topic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking started with we the voice. Took a, we took it. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah boy. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Christmas. Boom, 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 boom. Christmas. Boom, 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 boom. Sorry, bro. Decorations up yet? No. Why? I don't have any. <laughs> Christmas decks are expensive, man. Oh. All you need is let's make a list: <laughs> a tray, a Christmas tray, a bauble, <laughs> a star, just, <laughs> just the one, just the one bauble, a bauble, one bit of tint. <laughs> the saddest <laughs> tray. Put the one opposite side to each other. Bauble in, a star. <laughs> Get one, okay. get one little no outside. <laughs> Guys, the other side. You got three things on your tree. Fucking That's killing such it. A sad tree. Um, <laughs> no presents underneath it. No <laughs> presents. Tinsel falls off. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, so no Christmas tree, some tinsel, some baubles, a star, advent calendar. Bro, I'll be honest. I live alone. That's pr- that's it. Mm. I'll get one of them fucking nine nine pound ninety nine stick in the wall tree lights or little ones advent calendar mate and that's that's Christmas when you live alone. <laughs> that's that? <laughs> Come round back for Christmas. Is <laughs> <laughs> a grumpy old man. <laughs> no, but the thing is, me, I eating me Christmas, Christmas dinner like this <laughs> 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 tastes so good. No, but. I love Christmas, man, but when you live alone, it isn't. <laughs> what can I put up something like? What am I putting up decorations for? Like, I didn't give a shit. Sure. But when I go around my mum's, my dad's, uh, mate's houses, and I see their decor, I think, yeah, you lot have gone all out. But there's people that live here. I'm not going to do it for my ones, <laughs> man. <laughs> no one's coming around. There's no, I'm telling you, you there's, no, bro, there's no one sat in the room going, fuck me, I wonder what, I wonder, I wonder what Jacob's Christmas decorations going to be this year. No one cares. No one's ever I think, asked I me think no, you have to do it. No. I'm just, yeah, I'm going to take a picture. We'll show it on the Christmas episode. A picture of my room. It's the tree in the just, corner. It's just the same room. You can't even, can't even see the tree. So I got it's right on the corner. Yeah, around the shoes. Oh, shit. It fell over. Let's get back up. Yeah. But yeah, that's as exciting as it gets, man. Never really been like you know like when you think about your favorite parts of Christmas, even though subconsciously that is one of my favorite parts, the lights and whatever. I would never say that if someone asked me, "What do you like most about Christmas?" I would never say it. I would never. I've never ever said yeah the decorations ever. Mm. Never said it. You say the food. I say the going out. I say everyone in a good mood. Your family, your friends, whatever. When do you get older? I don't even say presents because. It's mm. not that excitement. You walk into your mum's and she got me a bottle of her aftershave. It is a bit more exciting though, isn't it? When there's stuff up. What? Like when there's stuff out, you do get yeah, more Yeah, this is what I mean. But I got in Sainsbury's earlier. I looked up, it was like first time I've seen all the Christmas yeah. stuff. I was like, oh, it's Christmas. But I wouldn't have ever said like, <laughs> oh yeah, like the decorations look sick. 
Like in the back of my head, I know why it looks better in there. Yeah. But I, n- I would have never been like, oh yeah, so glad they put decorations up. I don't really notice them, man. I don't know. I feel like I was talking to I was talking to my nephew the other day. I was went around there and we were just talking about like Christmas Eve and stuff. And he was like, oh, Jacob, I'm, I want to be up until like one a.m. man, Christmas morning. And I just thought like I remember that. It like it hit me. It come back to me. And I was like, oh, why? And it was like, oh, because I'll be so excited. And I can't sleep. And I was like. I, I know, like, I remember the feeling, but it's like, for me, I just, it's it's nothing mm. now. Especially because I went out, last I, last year I went out on Christmas Eve. So it was just like, for me, it was just, mm. you wake up Christmas and feel a little bit of shit. I ring my mum up. <laughs> Christmas. <It's> cr- <laughs> ring my mum up, mum. Christmas breakfast ready. Yeah, Jacob, yeah, come on. What's your Christmas breakfast? Oh. Aki and salt fish, bro. Is it? Oh, no, bread. Some fried <laughs> oh, planting. Yeah, no, bread. No, oh, no, bread. <laughs> Some fried planting. Mmm, yummy, yummy for Jacob. <laughs> That's Christmas. That's Christmas. <laughs> That's Christmas at Jacob. <laughs> That's Christmas at Jacob. <laughs> no, but yeah, that's my traditional every single year, every single Christmas morning. Do you know what mine is? Talk to me. Cup of tea. Yes. Shot of whiskey. Shock. What a shock. And a bacon sandwich. Shock horror. That's my Christmas. Lawrence, that's, why is that? Why is what's special about that? Lawrence? I was expecting you to say something like I never uh, like an yeah. eggs Benedict or some shit. The whiskey and the tea is probably. The, why is that? Oh, you only have that on Christmas morning, yeah? You try and drug me once. When I, I only come have in it here. once in the morning. Lovely. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so who's um? Obviously, with the current situation, who's who's getting freaky? Who's doing dinner this year for you? My sister. Really? Mm. I didn't really ask you that. Obviously, I've had your mum and dad's cooking. I know they can throw down. Your brother, your sister, can they throw down in the kitchen? Be honest. They're both very, <laughs> com- no, they're, they're both very yeah. confident in the kitchen. I think probably my sister is more. Just slightly, slightly edges, Daniel. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Probably. Um, Saying that. No, I think Sophie's way more in front. Daniel never cooks food. I think I, <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember if Daniel's ever made me a meal. <laughs> other than other than probably the odd uh, like weekday meal. Like yeah. I can't th- I can't say he's ever like tried to impress me with food. Yeah. I just think Sophie has. Up your game, Daniel. Yeah, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> damn, Daniel. <laughs> no, but uh, Sophie throw down, yeah? Yeah. She likes her uh, continental stuff. Ooh, yeah, yeah. So what does your, what is your Christmas, obviously our Christmas dinners are very different. What does yours consist of? Do you have a starter? Starter, have... which is normally some kind of fish. Like yeah. Prawn or salmon yeah. or something like that. Yeah, it's awesome. Prawn. Nice little cheeky prawn cocktail. Yeah. Yeah, sir. It's Christmas, isn't it? Last time we actually had champagne scallops. Who cooked that? Who cooked that? Which sounds like the fanciest thing ever. Then? You just get, get from uh, Aldi. Fuck you, no, champagne scallops. <laughs> Ray. From Aldi. Ray, you ever had champagne scallops? Back in your day. Ray, champagne. Ray. You seen them in Aldi, haven't you? Scallops. On the fish aisle. Scallops. Fi- no, fish aisle. Scallops. Scallops. Where's it going? Fucking hell. Yeah, no, Just champagne scallops. Off. What are they like? All right. I don't, know if I've had, <laughs> I don't know if I've had scallops, bro. What do they taste like? Sure, uh, I've not had scallops. They're quite so. meaty. They're just like yeah. fishy and meaty. Yeah. They're like a cross between chicken. Talk to me. Octopus. Talk to me. And. Prawns. 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 Salmon. Fish. What uh, type? <laughs> just, <laughs> just a fish. Just like a fishy. Yeah. Can't remember what the third one was. <laughs> <laughs> Fish, but they were alright. They were good. No, they it was like the tasty. Aldi special kind of stuff. But so, they were good. Moving and on, and then we have obviously the turkey. Oh, Bessie's normally a crown. <laughs> Don't you do that. <laughs> What'd you have? A crown. Oh, Bessie's not welcoming out. <laughs> turkey crown, yeah. Turkey crown, probably. Because yeah. we never ate a full turkey. That's, have you seen turkeys nowadays? Uh, They're massive. Tw- no, there are twenty-six man turkeys out there. Yeah. Um, but we also like turkey to last another day. Yeah. Oh, bro. I've all, I used to say it back in the day. The box, the, the Boxing Day meal sometimes oh, better than special. the Christmas Day meal. Yeah. Special. It can go down a drink. Yeah, so turkey crown. Turkey crown. 
Pigs in blankets. Yeah. A all given. kinds of veg. Yeah. Given. Do you have Brussels sprouts? We do. Yeah. But we're baking. We too, and I don't. I can't. Right, bacon that. in them? Yeah. Oh, you lot go in, innit? Just, just, just chop, chop, chop bacon. That's how they do it. The Johnson house off. A bit of spices. Wow, wow, wow. They're still wow, terrible. Wow. You, can't, you can't make a Brussels yeah, sprout bacon nice. But they've got bacon on, Lauren. Yeah, better than they would be. A little bit of gravy. Uh, gravy, which is the probably the main part of that. Is there meal. a. Have you got a recipe? We do. Because I can imagine from, from all the generations chefs, to generations. You're pissing, sorry, you're, pi- you're pissing all over <laughs> no. the story. You pissed in my face. <laughs> you, more, you just weed it. You urinated in my face. You said, Jacob, I'm going to urinate in your face. People are going to join at. <laughs> 4622 and ask what the hell are you two I'm about? not you don't know about what I can do no but um, yeah gravy so homemade gravy, gravy. Yeah. who knows it's the nice recipe stuff. do you all know it has yeah, it been passed it's, around it's like um, it's like you know in like Texas where a kid grows up and they have to be told how to shoot <laughs> it's like that but everyone in the Johnsons has to know how to make good gravy I got you and you are judged quite a lot on it you should be judged gravy is the most important well. part of the meal uh, Yorkshire puddings. Yeah. They're roast, just... Roast potatoes? Put, yeah. Uh, obviously roast potatoes, yeah. yeah. Um, cauliflower cheese. Yeah. Stuffing? Stuffing. That yeah. Normally being in turkey. Is that a bulk standard stuffing though or are we mixing it up? Because some people go we'll for a sausage stuffing, don't they? Yeah, some people like get a little bit, bit silly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the cranberries in stuffing. Mm. Do you like cranberry? Do you have cranberry sauce? Are you no, a cranberry I'm sauce not really guy? Big cranberry sauce no, guy. I'm not a cranberry sauce fan. But I'm pissed off that I'm not because it looks good. Yeah, when people add good. it to the meals, yeah, yeah it does. It look looks good. fucking amazing. Yeah, it looks shiny. And... But I feel like if I would put it on, I'm just, I don't know if I'm having a good time with it, Lawrence, to be honest. You know what? This year, try it. I'm going to have a good. <laughs> Why are you just assuming I've not tried it before? I have tried it. <laughs> no, you've not before. tried it. I have tried it. No, I actually swear I have tried it. And it's okay, but I feel like I've not tried it. I've not given. It, I've never had it on a Christmas dinner. I've had it in like one of them sandwiches you buy meal deal, and there's a little bit on it, and you're just like, yeah, son, yeah, blah, chicken and stuff, a little bit of cranberry sauce. <laughs> Sometimes when you're talking, I don't have a clue what you're saying. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Well, the point is, <laughs> like, this it year... Cranberry sauce about 10 times. I'm going to have cranberry sauce on my dinner this year. Oh, it was cranberry sauce on it. Cranberry sauce on it. got some cranberry sauce. Because I feel like when people watch these episodes, I am judged. But <laughs> I've got a very wide food palette. I try a lot of food. <laughs> I don't know why my voice is good by that. I try a lot of food. It's really... It's Christmas. Um, it's Christmas. Yeah. So is that is that it? What's yeah. a pudding? Who's serving what for the pudding? pudding? We've got Christmas pudding Christmas with white pudding. sauce. With white probably sauce. with a bit of uh, brandy in it or something. Lovely, 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 lovely. And we'll probably have like a chocolate log as well. Just Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, who Not cares about diabetes? Likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so. really. Yeah. And we'll probably have cheese in the evening. <sighs> what, nice little cheese board? Nice little cheese little board. Little bit of wine. Watch the old queen. Oh, some great. Watch the old queenie. Yeah. Let her speak for a bit, innit? And yeah. then we'll have it. See probably that, some kind of game. See what the Queen's got to say. What game? Some kind of Christmas game. game. To get competitive. Yeah, just some excuse to get really argumentative. Yeah, and really drunk. Drunk and yeah. You sort angry. of let out all the emotions yeah, you've been feeling emotions, since last yeah. Christmas. Why yeah. the fuck did I have to host again? Yeah. Why is she here again? Yeah, I've been, I have been there. I've been there. Sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll probably watch either... Gavin and Stacey, Ooh. Faulty Towers, Ooh. or uh, Royal Family. Uh, yeah, I thought you were going to end on something better than that. You should have left Gavin and Stacey for last. Yeah, that, was, that was the wrong way around. That that, the, that's my order of yeah. how I'd watch it. I see. Because you led me in it, mm. and then you just went, fuck off. Mm. So you went, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Gavin and Stacey. Yeah. I know what you're going to say. Yeah. But you I feel like it was on... Don't you? I think it is overrated. It is overrated. Personally. But I also think that that... Um, I, I feel like they're doing the same humour that they were. Mm. But Which is what really people... Evolved. Yeah. Which, again, is what people say there. I feel like it's one of those things, like, it becomes popular, other people watch it, and then it's just... It just becomes overrated because people rave about yeah. it. And it's like, there's people that I know have never ever talked about Gavin and Stacey. And then suddenly, because it's Christmas. been announced, they're bringing out new ones. People just fucking rave about it mm. out of nowhere. But I feel like that is a thing. Who can 
be more excited for the Gavin Stacey Christmas yeah. special. Like, oh my god, I've watched so every excited single one like hundred times, man. I love James Corden. Do you watch the uh, late night show? What? <laughs> he does what? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. He just, James Corden, is that is that really him? I didn't He's in a film called Cat. Yeah, yeah, that's him, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but we'll let him off. You know why I lost? You know why we'll let him off? It's Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> Hey, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Our next podcast. I want to do that to to a young child. To a young child. What? I just want to be like fifty. Tip my hat and say, "Hey, kid, it's Christmas." I want you to think about what you've just said. Oh, not like that. I want to be fifty. Just like you know. Take off that. Hey, kid. (laughs) You know, on Simpsons when um. So you want to be one of them cool. Older people. Yeah. That people are like, oh, he's 50. Hey, kid. You can tell he had a good life. <laughs> Happy Christmas. Right. <laughs> I can't do that. <laughs> no, I'm having a few shit. Bro. Sorry, what? <laughs> Christmas, though, isn't it? Um, Yeah. Bro, our next episode, man. We're going to be in December. Me in the summer. Oh my God. Exciting times. <laughs> to buy some tinsel with a TV. We do. Some better tints. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Christmas already, bro. Is your hair red? <laughs> <laughs> you had it dyed? Uh, no. Nah. It was like this last week. You don't remember? <laughs> yeah, I had it dyed, man. Christmas, isn't it? <laughs> That's my excuse for everything. Yeah, That's my excuse. Jacob, you didn't get mama presents. Christmas, isn't it? It's Christmas. Hello. Jacob, you didn't get your nephew a beer present. It's Christmas. No, that would never happen. <laughs> the nephews and nieces get treated. That would never happen. But the rest, are they here? Are they there? Who knows? It's Christmas. It's Christmas, isn't it? So, guys, it's Christmas, and this has been a pleasure. What, what number are we on? I feel like you're asking that. I am. Oh. Do you guys know? Do you know? We've not been keeping count. 17? The, if you could tell me the number are we on before I post this, I'll be on one seven. I feel like we're on 17. That's a lucky guess. I feel like a song coming on. Booby dapper, booby dapper, booby dapper, booby dapper, booby dapper, booby dapper, boo. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells, rock. Jingle bells and jingle bells, bop. A snowing, a bowing, a doobity doo. That's a jingle bell rock. It's the right time, just the right time to rock the night away. Jingle bell time, you smell time. I want to say in a horse sleigh. <coughs> yeah, number 17, I think. Right. Sweet. Um, as always, guys, <laughs> please like and subscribe and share. Enjoy the content, guys. Please. Please enjoy it. We want you to enjoy it. Please enjoy it. Enjoy it, God damn it. We love you. Um, you're going to press the subscribe button the second I press the stop button. Who's going to press it first? Come in really quick. That didn't get quick. Like it went really, really quick. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Ring around the clock. <laughs> we sing every week, don't we? But the problem is, it's the best thing to fucking do. Oh, mum, don't start with your nice little comments. Who's that? My mum. Movie star already. I hope you're ready. Yeah, I am. Yeah, mum. Mum. Hello. <laughs> 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 hey, you 